I've just been sent this SIF file and been asked to explain how to get some geometric parameters out of this, like um, the centroid of the cyclopentadiene ligands to the metal, and let's just go on and um, also calculate the um, plane angles and things like this. Of course, we want these with ESDs or SU values. So first of all, we make a plane. So we select these uh, atoms and we type MPLN and that makes the plane and also generates the centroid. And we can do the same for the other plane. One, two, three, four, five, and go MPLN again, up key to get the previous command. And now we've got the two geometric parameters and we can measure them. So we could click on that metal and on that centroid or the um, atom itself, so the plane itself and type ESD. And that gives us the information we are after. I click on the symbol here, which gives us a transcript of the um, console. And the important thing to note is that we're using the SIF file. So the matrix, uh, the ESDs are only as good as uh, what is in the SIF. What you really want here is a full SIF file, which contains the HKL and the INS file. You want to refine and save the variance covariance matrix to the, um, to the folder, and then we can calculate the um, uh, distances with more accuracy. Okay, so anyway, uh, as far as the SIF file is concerned, we've got a niobium to plane distance of 2.17 and the niobium to plane centroid distance of 2.1781. So that's uh, hopefully, you know, that's how you do it. Um, if you wanted the angle between those two planes, you click on that and in that and up key for ESD and you get exactly the same again. So we can type text to get this output and you get a lot more information. Again, the warning that we're using the SIF matrix and then all the geometric parameters, the twist angle, fold angle, and so on between those two planes with the ESD. If you don't like the visuals of these planes, you can right click on them and graphics, draw style, and you can do things at your heart's content. You can go and uh, make the centroid not black, but make it blue. And um, basically you make any pretty picture you want. It's entirely up to you. I hope this was helpful and thanks for using Olix too. As a bit of an afterthought, of course you can generate centroids entirely generally, so you can just click on any atoms you want and to get a centroid you type C E N T. That makes the centroid. So you don't need to have a plane, you can make a centroid completely arbitrary between any points in your structure. Click on that and up key again for centroid, you got a centroid here. Okay.